Hi, my name is Sam Holt, and this is my before and after story. Um, so I grew up um, in Billings, Montana, um, in a Christian family. We went to church every Sunday. Uh, my parents are believers. My extended family in Billings are Christians. Um, so I grew up going to church and knowing um, what Christianity was, but never really made it personal. Um, I quickly, throughout high school, got consumed with success and idolized sports and uh, relationships with girls and um, really sold my life to um, be successful. And uh, that quickly uh, consumed everything I was about. Um, and there's a verse in Titus that says, They profess to know God, but deny Him by their works. And um, that described me completely. Um, if you would have asked me, I would have said, Yes, I'm a Christian, but I didn't really know uh, what that entailed. Um, I thought it meant you just got to go to church and live a good life. And... Um, trying not to do bad um, you know I knew Jesus was important but I didn't I didn't know why uh, when I came to college in Boz here in Bozeman um, I came to play football which was my dream um, and uh, there was a senior captain who had actually moved in to my dorm um, in order to reach out to the freshman football players um, and I had gone to church with them a few times throughout fall camp and, and knew him um, through my older sister but one night he asked me if I wanted to sit down and talk with him and uh, I was terrified you know why does a senior captain want to talk to a, a freshman um, but we did and really for the first time in my life someone knew all that was going on behind the scenes and it called me out on it um, throughout my life, I've done a good job um, of not letting anybody close and keeping everybody at a distance. Um, so I, though even my family and those around me really didn't know that um, I wasn't a Christ follower, that I was just kind of putting on a face around them. Um, and it really wrecked me that night. I think I came to a realization that, um, you know, I, I'm a sinner and I need to be saved by grace and the only way for that to happen um, was to stop trying and to lay down um, what I desired and um, lay down my efforts um, and trust in Jesus Christ as the, the perfect sacrifice and atoning sacrifice for my sins. Uh, and so... I just want to thank you guys for listening to my story. Um, I'm interested in hearing yours. Um, so, please use the link at the end of this video um, to connect with me and share your thoughts. Thanks.